Hey guys, welcome to the Max Invest YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to talk about something that is very pressing right now, and it's probably Ethereum's biggest risk going into the merge, and this risk is client diversity. I do believe that client diversity is a massive risk, and I do hope the Ethereum community can resolve this. Now, you may have noticed that I haven't posted too many videos in the past month or so. The reason for this is because there hasn't been too much news, not too much has been happening in the cryptocurrency space, and it's hard to find the motivation to keep posting when the prices aren't doing too much. Of course, I do want to continue posting YouTube videos, and I will try to start to post again normally again. If you have any video ideas, type them down below in the comment section because not too much is happening right now. Anyway, if you enjoy the video, remember to like and subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, join the Discord, and remember, nothing in this video is financial advice. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about is Ethereum is merging to proof of stake in the next couple of months. A lot of people believe that this will happen in June, however, I think it's probably going to be more like August based on what I'm seeing right now. Ethereum's transition to proof of stake has been pretty successful so far. Most of the test nets have been working very well, except for the last test net, and this is why I think it'll take a little bit longer. Of course, we do know that proof of stake yields a bunch of different benefits for Ethereum. It's going to make Ethereum much more environmentally friendly, which is obviously very good. It's going to make it so that people validate the Ethereum blockchain, which is more inclusive as more people can do this, and it's actually a lot more secure than proof of work. However, there are a couple of big risks with Ethereum transitioning over to proof of stake, and the main risk that I want to talk about in this video is client diversity. As we can see, Ethereum has both execution clients and consensus clients. The execution clients are essentially used for whenever blocks are actually being produced and executed, and the consensus clients are when blocks are being added to the blockchain. Of course, Ethereum's consensus layer right now for proof of stake is the beacon chain, and the beacon chain is made up of validators which are staking their Ethereum. Once the merge goes through, the consensus layer and the execution layer will be merged together, and we need everything to go smoothly. Now, you may be wondering what exactly a client is. Essentially, when you choose to run your own node, such as an execution node or a consensus node, you get to choose which client you're going to be using, and this client will basically help you run that node. It's basically just a piece of software. Of course, as we can see, there's not too much client diversity right now in Ethereum. As we can see, the majority of execution clients are using GEF, which is Go Ethereum, and this has actually worked pretty well. GEF is an extremely good client, it's never had any bugs, and this hasn't had too many problems. Of course, it would be good to see other clients on the execution layer start to come up and match Go Ethereum. However, right now, this isn't where the issue lies. The issue lies in the consensus clients. As we can see, the majority of the network is using Prism right now. About 60% of the network has been using Prism, and this actually isn't that good. The reason for this is because Prism has had a few bugs. On the previous merge testnet, Prism did have a bug, and when 60% of the network are using Prism, this can actually result in some detrimental consequences. As we can see, what is going to occur on the Ethereum beacon chain so this is when individuals are staking their Ethereum and running their own validator, is these validators will vote on the validity of certain blocks, and if two-thirds of the validators vote that this set of blocks is valid, well, then these blocks are going to be added to the chain, and it's going to be considered justified. Of course, this can mean that if one client is dominating too much, there's going to be a problem. So, if there's one single client that represents one third or more than one third of the total staked ether, this can be very bad for the beacon chain. This is because the beacon chain will not be able to finalize. If one client, like Prism, has a bug, 
well, then the other clients won't be able to make up a two thirds majority and finalize the right information. So one client representing over one third of the stake is already a pretty big problem. And Prism currently represents well over one third of the current stake. Of course, the only place where this has an issue really is if Prism has a bug in it and this bug results in something not happening with the software. Of course, a two thirds share is actually going to be unbelievably problematic because if one client holds more than 66% of the stake, this means that it can finalize the incorrect information in the case of a bug. Of course, Prism does not have two thirds of the stake, so this is pretty good. Prism isn't a super majority. However, Prism is still over a majority. Prism did actually used to have about 70% of the stake. However, the Ethereum community have worked to bring this down and they're still working to bring it down. Now, the main problem with Ethereum right now and the validator set is the big institutions that are providing their own staking services. If you want to stake your ETH on Coinbase, you can just give your ETH to Coinbase and Coinbase will stake it for you. However, unfortunately, Coinbase are using heaps of Prism. 85% of Coinbase's validators are using Prism and this is contributing to the problem. As we can see, Kraken are also using Prism with 93% of their validators and Coinbase and Kraken right now are the main problem. If Coinbase and Kraken shifted away from Prism, well then we probably wouldn't even need to make this video. Lido is another big staking service that is using 40% Prism and this currently isn't that good. Of course, there are a few other services like Rocket Pool, which is using only 10% Prism, which is a lot better. And I would like to see more of these big companies that are using their staking services actually bring their Prism usage down into the future. Both Coinbase and Kraken have signaled that they are working on this, so it will be interesting to see if they do this. Now, it would be preferable if they do this before Ethereum transitions from proof of stake or from proof of work to proof of stake. And this is because when the consensus layer merges with the execution layer, there shouldn't be any bugs. We need all of the clients to be working perfectly and nothing to go wrong, because if something does go wrong, what will happen is it will probably delay the merge significantly. And if we see some major bugs, Ethereum's merge will probably be delayed until December or January next year, and if this occurs, a lot of people will be quite disappointed with Ethereum. So I do believe that this is probably the biggest risk going into Ethereum's merge, and in the next video I'll probably talk about all of the benefits of the merge because I do think it's absolutely massive. Again, I apologize for not making too many videos recently, however I will try and begin making a few more videos and stay tuned for those. Anyway, thanks for watching the video.